started in just a moment, so just make yourself comfortable. So come to a comfortable cross-legged position on your mat. Maybe just have a little bit of a shake out, maybe roll out your wrists, just begin to arrive. And when you feel ready, you can bring one hand on your belly, one hand on your heart. And I invite you right now to close down your eyes, or if that's not comfortable, then just bring your gaze down towards the floor. And just begin to start to deepen your breathing. Just bring some awareness to that breath. On your next inhale, make it a bit slower, a little bit deeper. And on your next exhale, make it a little slower, a little longer. With your eyes closed, just feel that breath as it moves through your body. With every inhale, feel like you've got more length in your spine from the top tips of your toes to the top of your head. And on your next exhale, maybe you feel your shoulders begin to creep down your back as they relax a little more. Continue to take a few breaths here. Allow your belly to expand, allow it to really rise as you inhale and allow it to empty as you exhale. Feel the motion of your breath. Just begin to land on your mat, begin to land in this space. Take a few more breaths here, inhaling slowly and exhaling slowly. Take a couple more breaths here. Take one more deep inhale, filling your body up with air. And a deep exhale, allow your shoulders to relax, release that air, release the tension. When you feel ready, just begin to blink open your eyes, taking in the space around you once again before we start our practice. You can release your hands, maybe rest them on your knees for just a moment, rolling your shoulders back. And on your next inhale, circle sweep your hands towards the sky, fingertips reaching upwards, take your time. Take a breath once you get to the top. And then moving into cactus arms, bending at the elbows, Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Hands are out in a cactus. Imagine you're trying to squeeze a tiny pencil between those shoulder blades, opening up the heart. And this time, bring your hands out into a T. So stretch your hands out long into a T shape, fingers are spread. And then we're gonna tuck our chin. And as we round our back, we're gonna sweep those arms forward and come into like a slow clap. So very slowly sweep the arms forward as you round the spine until your palms come to touch. Once your palms come to touch, bring your hands to heart center in a prayer. And we're gonna repeat this whole thing again. So on your inhale, sweep your arms up towards the sky. And then bending at the elbows, coming into cactus arms, squeezing the shoulder blades together, gazing directly ahead. Imagine you're trapping that pencil. And then releasing the cactus, bringing your arms out into a T either side of you. And then we're gonna sweep our arms forward as we tuck our chin and round our spine, coming into a slow, slow clap. Move slowly until your palms come together to touch, rounding through that spine. And then bringing your hands to heart center into a prayer, thumbs touching your heart, relax your shoulders down. Once again, sweeping arms up towards the sky, fingers long. Bending at the elbows, coming into cactus arms, squeeze those shoulder blades together. And hands out into a T, bringing your fingers out long either side. Tucking your chin, rounding your back, coming into the slow clap motion until your palms slowly and gently come together ahead of you, curved spine here. Rolling back out for your spine, bringing your hands to heart center. And relax. 
placing your palms on your knees and moving into easy side stretch. So sweep those arms back up towards the sky, take a breath, fingertips long, and then bring that right palm down towards the floor, sweep that left hand up and then lean it over for an easy side stretch. Take a breath here. Just breathe into this side body stretch for a moment. And then sweeping that hand back up towards the sky, both arms long, bringing the left arm down towards the mat, right arm goes up and then over for a side stretch onto the other side. If you're not feeling much, you can crawl your hands further away or maybe come down onto your forearm. It totally depends how open your body is feeling at the start of this practice. Take one more breath here. And then bring both arms back up towards the sky, fingers long, stretching through those lats, moving into easy twist. We're gonna bring the left palm to the right knee, right arm behind us and twist gently towards the right. Taking a few breaths here. Perhaps on your next inhale, your spine finds a bit more length. And on your next exhale, you twist a little deeper towards the right. Just take it easy as we begin to warm our body up in this practice. Taking one more breath here. Begin to slowly unwind, take your time. And as you twist, uh, move back into center, we're gonna sweep our arms back towards the sky. Look up towards those fingertips, take a breath. And then bring the right palm to the left knee, left arm behind us and twist towards the left. Take a few breaths here and see how your breathing impacts your movement. Maybe with an inhale, you find more length in the spine. And with an exhale, it's easier to twist a little bit more towards the left. Whatever you do, take it easy as we begin our practice. Take one more breath here. And begin to slowly unwind, unravel and come back through to center. Once you get here, just place your palms on your knees, take a quick breath. And when you're ready, we're gonna move to windshield wipers. So we're bringing our palms by our hips and our feet are as wide as the either edge of our mat. From here, we're gonna windshield wipe our legs from left to right. So slowly drop your knees over towards the right. Take a breath and slowly drop your knees over towards the left. It doesn't matter if you're feeling really stiff here and your hips don't come anywhere near the ground. Just match the movement to your breath and take your time. Windshield wiping left to right at your own pace. Take a couple more here. And when your legs are next over towards the left, keep them there. And if you wanna add a bit more movement, we're gonna drape our body over towards that left knee. See if we can bring our, left fa our face towards our left knee. If you can't, don't worry. And then we're gonna pivot out of this, come back towards the right and do the same on the right side. See if you can bring your face towards your right knee, hanging your head over to the side, and then coming back out. We'll do two more of these, moving over to the left. See if you can bring your face towards that left knee. And remember, if you can't do these variations, go back to the original where we were just doing our legs. Moving over towards the right side. Come back through to center. Now you can continue doing that twist 
or if you'd like to spice it up even more, we're going to do a couple of lazy wild things. So next time your legs are towards the left, we're going to bring our left arm, fingers pointing towards the back of our mat, and we're going to push through that left palm, raising our hips and sweeping that right arm up towards the sky. So we're still doing our windshield wipers, but as we move to the other side, we plant that hand and we raise our hips. So moving your knees over to the right, plant the right hand behind you, fingers pointing to the back, push through your hips and hands and come back down gently. If this isn't accessible for you, do any other variation. But if you're gonna keep doing the wild things, we move our hips to the left, plant the left hand, push through, raise those hips, maybe sweep the right arm up and slowly come down. Keep doing whatever variation of windshield works for you. We're gonna do a few more here and then come to a gentle stop. So maybe take one more on either side. And when you've done both sides, Come back free to center, hands by your hips, knees are bent. Just take a moment. And we're gonna come into tabletop pose. So get here however you need. I like to cross my knees and roll over them. But if that's not accessible for you, do any variation and meet me in a tabletop position. Once you get here, just take a breath in your tabletop. Feel solid as if you're pushing down through your palms, your knees are underneath your hips. You're looking down directly onto the top of your mat. Just take a moment here. And we're gonna move through some cat-cow variations. So on your inhale, we're gonna arch our spine, squeeze our shoulder blades and raise our head towards the sky. And on an exhale, we're gonna tuck our spine, tuck our chin and round our back. Inhale, we're arching and squeezing those shoulder blades, gazing up. And exhale, tucking the chin, rounding the spine. Keep going without my guidance. Take a couple of cat cows in your own pace. Maybe you're faster, maybe you're slower than me. Try matching it up with your breath. Remembering on the inhale, we're arching and squeezing those shoulder blades. And on the exhale, we're tucking our chin and rounding that spine. Taking a few more here. And we're gonna come to a gentle stop, come back into your tabletop. Just take a moment here. From here, we're gonna bring the right leg long behind us tucking those right toes on the mat, just pushing back into a gentle calf stretch. And when you're ready, we're gonna pivot open into a kneeling side plank by turning on our knee and back foot and sweeping the right hand up towards the sky. So sweep your right hand up, pivot open, and you should be in a kneeling side plank position. Just take a breath here, pushing through that left hand. And then bring your eyes to look towards that right thumb, keeping your eyes glued onto the right thumb. We're gonna bend the right arm and then begin to sweep it underneath our torso. And as we do, we're twisting. So we're twisting our torso, looking at our right thumb, sweeping that right hand below our ribs. And then we're gonna slowly sweep that back out, pointing back towards the sky. We're gonna take one more here. Keep your eyes glued on your right thumb. Bending that right hand, sweeping it underneath your ribs and sweeping that hand back up towards the sky, fingers along. Move back into a tabletop, planting both hands, both knees onto the mat. And this time, stretch your left leg out long, tucking the toes, pushing back into that left leg to stretch out the calf. And then we're gonna to move to a kneeling side plank on the other side by moving our knee and foot and sweeping that left arm up towards the sky, gazing up towards the left fingertips for a kneeling side plank on the other side. Take a breath here. And then keeping your eyes glued onto your left thumb, we're gonna bend the left arm and begin to twist and sweep that left arm past our ribs. 
before slowly twisting back out, stretching that arm back out long, gazing at the fingertips. One more time, bending that left arm, sweeping it underneath our ribs, and then gazing back up towards the ceiling, fingers out long. Come back into your tabletop, plant both palms, both knees on the mat. And from here, moving into your first child's pose, knees wide as the mat, toes to touch, sink your hips back down, pull your hands forward, and maybe you rest your forehead on the mat, or maybe you don't, depending on how your body's feeling today. Come into your wide-legged child's pose and just take a few slow breaths here. Prepare yourself for the rest of our practice. With every breath, maybe you return to the affirmation that we talked about at the start of the class. Give yourself a little mental boost in this child's pose. Take one more breath here. And we're moving into downward dog. So we're going to tuck our toes, plant our palms, and slowly raise our hips up towards the sky. Take your time to get here, and once you get into your downward dog, immediately begin to pedal your feet, bending one knee and the other, just sort of cracking out any stiffness and tightness you feel in your hamstrings. Your eyes are gazing towards your knees. You're pushing through your palms. Just take a moment here to find some movement in your downward dog. Perhaps you bend both knees and re-lengthen your legs. Do whatever works for you. And when you feel ready, come to stillness in your down dog. Remember if your legs are tight, it's okay to have your knees bent. Take one more breath here. And then rising onto the tiptoes of your feet, begin to walk your feet towards your hands. And once you reach your limit, meet me in a halfway lift. So your hands are either on your shins with a flat back or fingertips are grazing the floor. Taking a halfway lift here and then bending your knees deeply, grab hold of opposite elbows and come into a ragdoll. Allow your neck and arms to hang heavy, maybe sway side to side. Taking a few breaths in your ragdoll here. And then slowly begin to roll up one vertebrae at a time, bringing your head and neck up last. Begin to slowly roll up. And once you come to the top, if you still have hold of your hands, release them, roll your shoulders back and set yourself up for your mountain pose. So your legs are hip width apart. All 10 toes are pushed down and connected with the mat. Your core is engaged. Your pelvic floor is engaged. Maybe if you've got an arch in your lower back, you just tuck it slightly. Shoulders are rolled back, fingers outstretched, gaze directly ahead, long spine. Take a breath here. In your mountain pose, you're actually engaging every muscle in your body. So it's not just a transitionary pose, it's an active posture. Just breathe. We have two rounds of sun salutation A with a little bit of spice for our core. So listen out for my instructions because one thing is different. On your next inhale, circle sweep your hands towards the sky. Gaze up towards those fingertips. With a slight bend in your knees, begin to fold forward over your legs and bring your palms down towards the floor or your shins. Take a breath in your forward fold. And then coming into a halfway lift, come onto fingertips or shins. Planting your palms, we're gonna step back into a high plank. So bring your legs back, push through your palms, engage your core and just look directly at the top of your mat or just down. Take a moment in your high plank, just one more. And then drop just your knees, bringing your knees to the mat. We're gonna bend at the elbows and slowly bring our chest down towards the mat. Once you do come to lie down on the mat, set yourself up for cobra pose. Palms are by your shoulders, your toes are pushing into the mat. Roll those shoulders back and then push up into a cobra. Maybe come up into a low cobra for now. And maybe on your second round, you come up into a slightly higher cobra. 
just take a breath here, squeezing the shoulder blades, engaging through your legs, raising that chest up off the mat. And release your cobra down. We're going to move into downward dog. So tuck your toes, push through your palms, and raise your hips up towards the sky for downward dog. Take your time to get here. Once you're in your downward dog, we're going to inhale the right leg up towards the sky for just a second. And then we're going to bring the right knee underneath our body, hovering it just above the ground. So bring that right knee to the center of your body. You're in a plank now with one knee up, just one breath here. And then raising that right leg back up towards the sky, planting it back down into your downward dog. Rising onto your tiptoes and begin to walk your feet towards the front of your mat. Come back into your halfway lift, shins or fingertips. Take a breath here. Bending deeply into your knees. We're going to engage our core and circle sweep our hands up towards the sky. Gaze up towards those fingertips. And come back into your mountain pose. Arms down by your side. Take a breath here. On your next inhale, circle sweep your hands up towards the sky. With a slight bend in your knees, begin to fold forward over your legs, coming into your forward fold. Coming into halfway lift, fingertips or shins. Planting your palms, let's step back into a high plank. We're gonna push through our palms, so we're engaging our shoulders, squeezing our glutes, take a moment here. And then dropping just the knees, we're bending at the elbows and bringing our chest down towards the mat. And once it gets here, come to lie down and set yourself up for cobra. Palms are by the shoulders, toes are pushing into the mat. Roll the shoulders back and push your chest up into a cobra pose, engaging through that upper back. Take a breath here. Release your cobra. And slowly make your way into a downward dog pushing your palms, hips to the sky. Meet me in a downward dog. Once you get here, we're gonna inhale that left leg up towards the sky for just a moment, and then bring the left knee underneath our body, hovering it into the center of the mat, just off the mat, for a one-legged plank variation. And then bring that left leg back to the sky before planting the foot down, back into a downward dog. Just take a breath here. Coming onto tiptoes, begin to walk the feet towards the front of the mat. Come back into your halfway lift. Take a deep bend in your knees, engage your core and circle sweep your hands up towards the sky, gazing up towards the fingertips. And come back down into your mountain pose, relax your shoulders, beautiful. Take a breath here. Take one more. We're moving into our warrior sequence here and we're spicing this one up just a little bit too. So when you feel ready, we're gonna step our left leg back, but we're stepping back into a high lunge. So step the left leg back directly behind you. Take a moment to find your balance in your high lunge. And when you found it, you sweep your arms up towards the sky, bending into that front knee. Just take a breath here. From your high lunge, we're moving into warrior two. So find a way to transition. We're gonna sweep our arms open into a T and move that back leg until the toes are pointing towards the edge of our mat. Bend deeply into the right leg, keeping your hands out in a T. You should be in your warrior two. Take a moment to adjust if the transition didn't feel comfortable. Engaging your core, maybe you squeeze your glutes to protect that lower back. Perhaps you look out over those right fingertips. Take another breath here in your warrior two. Relax those shoulders, but keep your arms strong. We're moving into side angle pose. So bring the right forearm to the right thigh. Sweep that left arm up and then sweep it over your head. Imagine that your heart is spiraling open. Take a breath here. Coming out of your side angle, come back into your warrior two, arms out into a T. 
And then we're straightening our legs, both legs, keeping your arms out long. And we're moving into reverse triangle, kind of like reverse warrior, but with straight legs. So flip that right palm up into its facing the ceiling and then arc that right arm up towards the sky, allowing your left arm to hang back on the thigh and gaze up towards the right fingertips for reverse triangle. Take a breath here. Beautiful. And then bring your arms back out into a T, release that reverse triangle and pivot the right toes to face the same way as the left, bringing your hands towards your hips, you're in a wide legged stance. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. And on your next exhale, begin to bend forward over your wide legs, coming into a wide legged fold. It doesn't matter how low you go. And if your hamstrings are feeling tight, maybe make your stance a little wider. Once you've folded to your limit, you could release your hands. Maybe they rest on the floor or maybe they find support on your legs. Wherever you are, hang your head and just take a few breaths in this wide-legged fold. Take another breath here. On your next inhale, come onto your fingertips for a halfway lift, long spine. And then we're gonna move into a low lunge at the front of our mat by walking our hands towards the front and pivoting on our toes until our palms are planted on the inside of that right front leg. Right leg is bent, left leg is long. We're in a low lunge at the front of our mat. Once you get here, we're gonna inhale the right arm up towards the sky for an easy twist. Look up towards those right fingertips. Take a breath here. And then plant that right hand down towards the ground. And we're gonna walk that left leg to meet the right. So maybe you hop it forward or you walk it and come and meet me in a halfway lift at the front of your mat. Take a moment here. Bend deeply into your knees, engage your core and circle sweep your arms up towards the sky. Once again, gaze up towards those fingertips. And meet me back in a mountain pose, shoulders relaxed, arms long by your side, pelvic floor engaged, gaze directly ahead. Take an inhale here and an exhale. Just take a moment. And we're gonna do everything on the other side. So when you're ready, we're gonna step the right leg back into a high lunge. So right leg goes directly behind us, Take a moment to find your balance. And once you have, perhaps you sweep your arms up towards the sky. Left leg is bent, right leg is relatively long, high lunge position. Take a moment. From your high lunge, we're gonna transition into a warrior two. So you can follow me by opening your arms out into a T at the same time as pivoting that left uh, right leg behind you, so the toes are pointing to the edge of the mat, bending into the left knee. Come into your warrior two in whatever way suits you. Take a moment to adjust your posture. Left knee is bent and strong. Maybe you squeeze your glutes. See if that activation helps you with this posture at all. Gazing over those left fingertips. Take one more breath here. Moving into side angle, left forearm comes to left thigh, right arm sweeps up first and then over our head. Imagine you're spiraling that heart open. Just take a few breaths here. When you feel ready, coming out and back into your warrior two, before straightening the left leg, both legs are long and straight, arms are out in a T. We're gonna flip that left palm so it faces the ceiling and then begin to arc that arm up towards the thigh. Right hand rests on the back of your thigh. Gaze up towards the left fingertips for your reverse triangle.
then release the arms back out into a T. Pivot those left toes to point the same direction as the right. Hands come onto your hips, or this time in your wide stance, perhaps you interlace your arms, hands behind you for a shoulder stretch. Whatever you choose, begin to fold forward over your wide legs and come into a wide-legged fold. Allow your head to hang heavy. If you came into the shoulder stretch, just take one more breath before gently releasing your arms. Allow your hands to find the mats or to rest upon your legs. Take a few breaths here. On your next inhale, come into a halfway lift, rise up onto fingertips, straight back. And we're gonna walk our hands towards the front of our mat, turning on our toes, coming into a low lunge at the front of our mat. Both palms are down on the mat, left knee is bent. From here, sweep that left arm up towards the thigh for an easy twist. Look up towards the left fingertip. And then plant both palms down. Step the back foot forward to meet the front, take your time. And once you get here, coming into a halfway lift, take a deep bend in your knees and this time just fold forward over your legs for a moment, maybe come into ragdoll for just a second. And then plant those palms and make a way to taking a seat on the mat. Take your time, maybe you just drop your bum back Maybe you pivot down, but come until you're taking a seat on your mat. Your knees are bent, your feet are on the ground, and maybe bring your hands by your hips. Once you're ready, take an inhale and imagine you have a long straight line coming from your sit bone, through your stomach, up your spine and out of your head. Gazing directly ahead, roll your shoulders back, relax them and take another breath. Picture that length in your body. Just visualize it. And we're moving on to the new core sequence. So like I said, rest at any point. We're gonna begin by just in this position, bringing our arms out ahead of us, fingers long. Maybe you lean back ever so slightly just to engage that core a little more. Relax your shoulders. And from here, we're gonna do some toe taps. So inhale the left toes off the mat for a second and slowly bring it back down. Inhale the right toes off the mat, slowly bring it back down. If at any point you need support, you can grab hold of your thighs. Inhale left toes, slowly down. Right toes, bring it down. Left, down, right, down. Take two more, raise the left leg, bring it down. Raise the right leg, bring it down. Grab hold of behind your thighs and use that to support you right now. That was just a little warm up. We're gonna head down for our sequence. So when you're ready, we're gonna take a lie down on our mat. Maybe you bring your arms out ahead of you once again and you begin to slowly curve your spine down towards the mat, taking your time to get here until you're lying down completely on your mat. Once you're here, keep your knees bent, keep the soles of your feet on the floor. And we're gonna begin by raising both feet up towards the sky. It doesn't matter if your legs are bent or straight. If your hammies are tight like mine, they might be a bit bent. So bring both legs up. From here, we're gonna bring our arms up ahead of us. And then we're gonna grab hold of the right thigh with both hands, so interlace your hands behind the right thigh. From here, we're gonna to begin to drop the left leg down towards the ground. Now only come as far as feels comfortable and point through your toes to engage that left leg. Maybe your left leg only comes down a little bit, maybe it comes down a lot. Keeping hold of that right thigh, you can stay here where you are for the next few breaths or if you'd like to engage your core even more. On your next exhale, we're gonna lift the shoulders off the mat as if we're pulling ourselves towards that top leg. Gazing towards the right knee, wherever you are in this posture, just take a few more breaths 
Don't strain your neck. Make sure you're working through your core. And we're going to release by bringing our neck down, bringing both legs up towards the sky, maybe dropping them for a second. And we're going to bring both legs back up towards the sky and do the same thing on the other side. So when you feel ready, arms ahead of you, interlace your fingers behind your left thigh, and then begin to slowly drop that right leg, pointing the toes to activate the leg, and only come as far as feels comfortable. Maybe you're up here, maybe you can bring that right leg all the way down a few inches above the floor. Wherever you are, you can stay here, or on your next exhale, engage through your abs and lift your shoulders off the mat as if you're pulling yourself towards that left knee. Keep your eyes fixed on the left knee. Whatever variation of this posture you're doing, just take a few breaths. Before slowly releasing, bringing your back down, legs up towards the sky. Allow your feet to come down to the mat, let them rest. Maybe bring your hands towards your belly. Just take a breath here. Remember, if any of this feels super challenging, we're going to work on it over a couple of weeks. When you feel ready, we're going to bring our arms back up in front of us, raising towards the sky. And then we're going to bring our feet up in the air, bent at the knees in a 90 degree angle. Now, with this next one, you might have done it before. It's called a dead bug uh, in gym terms. And the most important thing here is to do this posture slowly and to only go as far as feels comfortable. So if it, oh, sorry, the dog is with me. <laughs> if it feels uncomfortable at any point, try slowing down or try doing a less intense version of this posture. So with your knees bent, your arms out ahead of you, we're gonna all begin with one variation. What we're gonna do is straighten and lower our left leg. So just begin to straighten and lower that left leg as far as feels comfortable, pointing through the toes, and then re-bend and slowly raise that left leg back up to meet the right. Now straighten and lower the right, pointing through the toes, taking your time, moving slowly. Rebend and bring that right leg back. If this feels like enough for you, just keep playing about with this movement. Otherwise, join me for the full variation. As we next straighten and lower our left leg, we're going to sweep the right arm behind us, keeping our body on the mat. And then we're slowly sweeping right arm and left leg back up into the starting position. We're gonna lengthen and uh, lower our right as we bring our left arm behind us slowly and then slowly bring them together. Now, if this feels like too much, just play about with any variation that works for you. And wherever you are, just take a few more rounds, seeing if we can bring opposite arm and leg with us or if we're just tapping one leg down with a bent knee. Taking a few more rounds here. Making this practice your own. And when you feel ready, after your next side, we are gonna to come to a gentle stop. And we're gonna do that by planting our feet on the mat, placing our hands on our belly, and just taking a deep inhale here, and a deep exhale. Do one more, inhale deeply, and exhale deeply. From here, we're going to set ourselves up for a couple of rounds of bridge, slow bridge flow. So bring your hands down by your side, your arms by your side. You want your heels of your feet to be relatively close to your glutes. And we're going to do bridge flow through rounds of four. So four breaths to come up or four counts, holding for four counts and slowly coming down for four counts. So I'll count you in. Get yourself set up for bridge pose. And when you're ready, we're going to push through our feet, squeeze our glutes, and slowly rise up for a count of four, 
three, two, one. And once you get to the top, squeeze your glutes, push through your feet and hold it for another three, two, one. And slowly we're going to come down spine by spine. Three, two, one. Come down. Take a moment of rest at the bottom and we're going to repeat. So when you're ready, push through feet, squeeze glutes for four, three, two, one. At the top, squeeze and engage for three, two, one. Slowly lower down for a count of four, three, two, one. Release. And we've got one more round. So take a moment here. And when you're ready, we're going to squeeze and raise for four, three, two, one. Once you come to the full posture, let's hold. Three, two, one, and slowly lower vertebrae at a time. Four, three, two, one. Come to take a little rest on your mat. What we're going to do is bring our leg out long and our arms out long behind us and take a really big, juicy, good morning stretch, stretching from our toes to our fingertips. Take a really big stretch and a really big breath. Just take a moment here. And when you feel ready, we're going to plant our feet back onto the mat and move into the restorative section of this flow. So with your knees bent, your feet back on the mat, we're going to inhale that left leg up, cross the left ankle over the right knee for a figure four. But instead of bringing our hands between our legs for the full stretch, we're going to have our legs in a figure four, place our hands on our belly, lift that foot off the mat, and just make some hip circles in a figure four. So just rolling through your hips, we're going in one direction. Not using your hands to guide the, guide the movement. And maybe begin to circle your hips in the other direction. Come to a gentle stop. We're going to interlace our hands between the legs and come into the full figure four stretch. Pulling the leg towards us until you feel a juicy stretch in that hip and glute. Take a few breaths here and maybe close down your eyes. Just breathe into the stretch. And release your hands, but keep your legs where they are. We're going to move into a twist, a figure four twist. So bring your arms out into a T and just drop your hips towards the right, allowing your legs to fall in that figure four position if it feels comfortable. That would mean your left toes, left foot is on the mat. If the figure four doesn't feel comfortable in the twist, just come into your normal supine twist with both knees falling in the right same direction. With your hips and legs towards the right, maybe you roll your neck over towards the left. And keeping your eyes closed, just breathe into this for a few seconds. coming back through to center. And when you get here, wrap your arms around your legs, squeeze everything in tightly. And then plant both feet back on the mat and we'll move on to the other side. Sweep that right leg up towards the sky and then cross right ankle over left knee, coming into a figure four. Once again, we're gonna bring our palms to our belly, lift the legs and just use our hips to take a few hip circles in one direction.
And maybe begin to circle your hips in the other direction, massaging through that lower back. Finding softness again. Come to a gentle stop and interlace your hands under your leg, pulling that leg in towards you for a figure four stretch. If you haven't already, close down the eyes and just breathe into this stretch. Taking one more breath here in the stretch. Release the stretch, bring your arms out into a T and allow your legs to fall towards the left for a twist with figure four legs. If this doesn't feel comfortable, you can come into a normal twist. Allow your neck to roll into the opposite direction. And just take a few breaths here. Beautiful. Roll back through center, wrap your arms around your legs and squeeze everything in into a really, really tight ball. Squeeze everything really, really tight. And when you feel ready, we're gonna allow our legs to fall towards the right once again. And then we're gonna push up and bring ourselves back into a seated position. Take your time to get here and meet me back seated on your mat. Take your time and once you get back here in your seat, we're gonna bring the soles of our feet together for a butterfly fold. So bring the soles of your feet together, roll your shoulders back, allow your legs to fall out into a diamond shape. Just take a breath, feel your spine lengthen. And then grabbing hold of your ankles, see if you can fold forward over your butterfly legs with a straight back. So only come as far as feels comfortable. It might be halfway today, or you might feel that you can pull yourself quite far. Wherever you are, just take a few breaths here. Perhaps with every exhale, you feel your lower spine, your lower back elongating and relaxing. Once again, you're invited to close down your eyes in this fold. Maybe you allow your head to hang heavy and you just find a bit more restoration in this pose. Begin to slowly raise yourself up, lifting up your torso, gazing directly ahead. We're going to bring our knees together, planting our feet on the mat. We're going to elongate our right leg long to the mat. And then we're stepping that left leg over the right, keeping that left knee bent. We're going to hug in that left knee to lengthen our spine. And then sweeping the left arm up towards the sky, bringing that left arm behind us for an easy twist. If you'd like to intensify the twist, you can bring the right forearm to the left thigh, pushing on it to make the twist a little deeper. Keeping the right toes flexed, the, left, the long right leg, keep those toes flexed. And just twist, twist towards the left, take a breath, maybe close your eyes. Begin to slowly unwind. Take a gentle counter tw a twist by just hanging your head and torso over to the other side. 
before raising your torso up slowly. We're going to swap legs. <clears throat> so elongate the left leg, bend the right. And then we're stepping that right foot over the left. And we're grabbing hold of the knee, elongating our spine. From here, sweeping the right arm up and bringing it behind you for an easy twist. Maybe you bring left forearm to right knee, intensify that twist. Wherever you are, just take a few breaths in this seated twist. Taking one more breath here. Begin to slowly unwind and take a gentle counter twist by hanging the head and torso over towards the other side. And then come out of this position. Plant both feet on the mat with bent knees and begin to slowly bring yourself down to lie down on the mat, rolling through your spine and come into your Shavasana, bringing your legs out long bringing your arms long behind you. Just take a wiggle to find a comfortable position. Maybe your arms are long on the mat or maybe one hand is on your belly, one is on your heart. Wherever you are, fully relax every muscle and close down your eyes. <clears throat> take a few slow, deep breaths here. <clears throat> just allow your body to meet the mat. Allow every muscle you've just been working to relax. Taking slow, deep belly breaths here. <coughs> Sorry. With your eyes closed, just allow yourself to feel every breath that comes in and out. Taking a slow, deep inhale here and a slow, deep exhale. Allow your stomach to expand. Allow it to move as naturally as it can. We very rarely just allow our stomachs to be, allowing them to fluctuate, to grow, to shrink, to move. So just take a moment here with gentleness and with love to breathe and allow each breath to fill your stomach up and each exhale to empty it back out. As you take a moment of rest here, remind yourself that your body can be soft and it can be strong. That our bodies are meant to move and change. And that our bodies, just like ourselves, deserve unconditional love and respect, no matter what we're doing. Take a few more slow breaths here. I'm going to leave you in quiet for one minute, continuing to breathe. And after that minute, I'll come and bring you out of your shavasana. So allow yourself to fully relax and succumb to the moment. Continuing to breathe here. Slow, long, deep inhales and exhales. And you can stay here in Shavasana for as long as you like. Or if you'd like to end this practice with me, <clears throat> sorry, then you can begin to bring some gentle movement back into your body. 
Perhaps you wiggle your fingers and your toes. Perhaps you roll your neck from side to side. Whether you're staying in Shavasana or leaving the practice, just take a moment here to give gratitude to your body. Gratitude to yourself for showing up and sharing this practice with me and everyone else in this room. Wherever you are and whatever you're doing, I hope you have a beautiful evening and hopefully I'll see you next time. Thank you.